Hello friends, in this video, we are going to learn how to measure the space complexity for non-recursive algorithm. So let us start with some example. This is the first example. This is a simple function that is written in C programming language. The name of the function is sum variable. This function actually finds out the sum of two variables a and b. Now we are supposed to find out the space requirement for this particular algorithm. Remember, this algorithm is non-recursive algorithm. Now in this particular function, there are two inputs. These are the inputs A and B. When we are calculating the space complexity, we do not consider, remember, we do not consider the space that is required for the inputs. There are two inputs here, A and B. The space required for these inputs are not considered. Now, if you go to this particular function, there is one variable created here. This is a variable that is that is being declared in this function. So there is one variable, integer variable, that is created. So this is the space, we need a space for this particular variable, A and S. Now, the, this is an integer variable. So let's consider the size of int to be size of integer to be 4 bytes hence there is just one variable in this particular function declared that is answer there is no other variable so the space required for this particular uh, algorithm is nothing but 4 bytes so it needs the 4 bytes of space remember in this we are just considering the data space space required for the for storing the data that is the variable now if you look at this whatever may be the value of a and b like for example the value of a and b is changing and uh, this is the space that is required if the value of a and b is 10 and 20 obviously the sum is 30 and the space required is the space required for this particular variable that is 4 bytes now, if you, are, if you take a next, next new instance of this problem, like for example, if you have a, uh, 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 if you pass the value, value of a and b as 20 and 30, the answer would be 50 and the space required would again be only 4 bytes. So, whatever may be the value of a and b, always the space required, the space required is 4 bytes. So, it is actually taking the constant space. This particular this particular function is actually taking the constant space that is always 4 bytes. So we say that this algorithm has a space complexity of, it, it has a constant space com complexity, right, that is actually 4 bytes. Now asymptotically, we write this as order of 1. This is our second example. There is a bit modification to the previous example here. Here, everything is same. We are trying to find the sum of two variables a and b, but we, did, we did, do not create any variable inside this function definition. We directly calculate the sum and then return the value. If you look at this closely, these are the inputs, right? These are the inputs. And now we are actually, whenever we talk about space complexity, we are, we are actually bothered about what is the extra space that is consumed by this particular algorithm apart from the input we do not cons consider the input now extra we have not we have not created any we have not created any other variables in this particular function so the space requirement is obviously zero bytes there is no space required for this particular algorithm so whatever may be the size of a and b whatever may be the value of a and b if a and b is 10 and 20 still there is no space required for any any no any new variable is created so it is zero bytes similarly if the value of a and b is 20 and 30 we are not creating any other variable in this particular function so again it's zero bytes so whatever may be the value of a and b always the space complexity is constant which is zero bytes now asymptotically asymptotically we write this as order of 1 that is constant time we do not write order of 0 we write order of 1 1 means it takes constant time 1 means whatever may be the value of input instance 
always this space requirement is same it's not changing it is fixed therefore it's a constant space requirement here as well do not worry about asymptotic notations i have already told you we'll discuss this in details in our subsequent lectures now let us take the next example the third one this is our next example in this example or in this function we are trying to find out the sum of a 1d array elements in an 1d array array name is a and there are n number of elements in a now in this particular function these are the inputs array a and n are the inputs so when, whenever we are calculating the space complexity we will not consider the space that is required for a and n because they are the inputs now apart from a and n how many variables are there in this particular uh, function there are actually two variables one variable is sum and another variable is i so i need to declare i also so there are two variables i and sum right so there are two variables both are integer type assuming that size of int is 4 bytes number of variables we have is number of int variables we have is 2 so our space required for this particular function is 4 bytes for sum 4 bytes for i so it is 4 into 2 that is 8 bytes it requires 8 bytes of 8 bytes of space to execute this particular function now whatever may be the value of a and whatever may be the size of n always we require 8 bytes of space therefore it takes constant space which is nothing but big o or order of 1 asymptotically it's a constant space requirement this is our next example in this example we're actually copying the array a into array b so array a and the size of an array a that is n is given to us to us as an input so we will not consider a and n while considering the space complexity now we are actually dynamically creating this particular statement is helping us to dynamically create the memory for b now b is an integer pointer i is an integer variable and here in this statement using malloc i am actually creating the the allocating the memory for b whatever may be the size of n that is that would be the size of b so b can hold at max n number of integer values and this is this is a for loop which is helping me to copy the each and every element of a to the variable b now if you look at this closely we have two variables right one is b and one is i and b is of type it's a pointer to an integer so let's assume that the size of a pointer is also 4 bytes so 4 bytes of memory required for b uh, sorry not 4 bytes actually it's uh, 4 bytes is for i right so i have variable i and i have b but the size of b is decided by malloc we have the size of b is nothing but n so we are actually creating an array b which is having n number of elements in it right so this will take 4 bytes and b will take how many bytes n number of elements and each element is of integer type there are n number of elements in b each of type integer so n into 4 that is 4 n bytes now the total space required for this particular algorithm or for this particular function is 4 bytes for i and 4 n bytes for b so it, it comes to be 4 into n plus 1 bytes so this is the total space that is required for this particular algorithm now if you look at this closely there are two components in this particular space complexity calculation this is the fixed part whatever may be the value of n this will always be 4 
but this part is not fixed this is a variable part right depending upon the size of n the size of this particular term will also change so this is a variable part of my space complexity calculation this is the fixed part now if you look at this closely this is 4n plus 4 now if you look at this 4n is of higher order than 4 4 is constant 4n is linear right it grows linearly as n grows so we can call this as write this as order of n so it is not having the constant space it is having the linear space requirement order of n had it been n squared it would have been called as quadratic space requirement so this particular function is having the linear space requirement we missed out a very important point in this particular part right we did not calculate the or actually consider the space for this particular point of variable see actually what happens is when we do int star b b is a pointer right it will hold the address of it can hold the address of any uh, any integer variable and whenever you do this you will allocate a chunk of memory for me from my heap section of the memory now suppose n is uh, if n is 5 so will allocate a block for me which can hold 5 integers 1 2 3 4 and 5 integers suppose the address for this is 1000 and this is 1004 4 bytes each so this is 1008 1012 and 1016 all right now b will have the address of b will also have the address will have the address of the first memory location that of this particular block that is 1000 b itself is a variable now we actually have to consider this i one more variable i right so we have to consider the uh, the memory required for i that is 4 bytes memory required for the pointer variable b pointer b now pointer also takes 4 bytes so pointer b is 4 bytes and for i it's 4 bytes and for this particular block like my array it's n bytes right so n not n bytes n variables so 4 into n bytes so total time complexity is 4n plus 8 so it is 4n plus 8 4n plus 8 but asymptotically this is a constant so we'll we can ignore this part right and this is order of n so we can write it is again linear but it actually becomes to be 4n plus 8 this is our last example in this example this is an algorithm not a function in c in this algorithm we are trying to copy the content of 2d array a to b now in this particular algorithm a and n are input so we do not consider the space contributed by a and n in this particular algorithm if you look at it we are declaring two integer variables i and j so this will contribute 4 plus 4 that is 8 bytes and this is always fixed the the, the space required for i and j is always fixed it is always 8 bytes so this is the fixed part 8 bytes now we are creating an array b now in this case no need to worry about pointers because this is an algorithm right uh, create an array b of size n into n so there are n square elements n square integer elements now each int integer takes 4 bytes so it is nothing but 4 into n square bytes now this is the variable part of the space that is required for this algorithm there is no other variable created so total space that is required is 4 n square plus 8 bytes now whenever you are doing asymptotic calculation this is the space requirement for this particular algorithm 4 n square plus 8 whenever you are doing asymptotic calculations we actually can ignore the lower order term so this 8 is a lower order term so we can ignore this so we can write it as good as order of n squared so this is having the quadratic space requirement so this is again asymptotic notation do not worry about it in our subsequent lectures in details we'll be talking about asymptotic notations so this is it for 
finding the space complexity for non-recursive algorithms. If you have any doubts, you can post it as a comment in this particular video. Thank you for watching.